Hello. In this video I'd like to show you the difference between calculating the rate of change on a graph with a proportional relationship versus a graph with a non-proportional relationship. Let's start with graph A. On graph A it's a straight line. It has a constant rate of change. To try to calculate that rate of change it's actually quite easy. I notice that uh, this is something traveling in miles per hour. Its starting location is at mile zero. And so after two hours time, the position of this object has changed to four miles. So I can say it has traveled from zero to four. It has gone four miles in two hours, or two miles per hour. I could pick a different point on the line. Let's say this one right here. And I could say it's gone from zero to eight miles. It has gone eight miles in four hours. Eight miles in four hours is still two miles per hour. And I could keep going to any point on this line. Twelve miles in six hours. Twelve divided by six is still two miles per hour. Or sixteen miles in eight hours. Sixteen divided by eight is still two miles per hour. So this is a proportional relationship and calculating the rate of change is quite easy. It's a proportional relationship because when you divide y divided by x for any point on the line you always get the same ratio no matter what point you choose. 4 divided by 2 is the same as 8 divided by 4, it's the same as 12 divided by 6, it's the same as 16 divided by 8. And this works out because the values start at zero and they rise at a constant rate of change. So when we look at graph B, uh, it's also not very hard, but the situation is slightly more complicated. On graph B, I still have a constant rate of change. It's going up with a straight line, but this time I'm not starting at zero anymore. Now I'm starting at six. And the problem here now is if I pick a point on the line and I say, well, I've got 10 miles divided by two hours, that would give me a rate of change of five. But if I were to try it here, if I did 14 miles divided by four hours, I would get three and a half, three and a half miles per hour. Or right there, 18 miles in six hours is three miles per hour. So I'm getting different rates as I'm looking at those different points. So I can't just do that. And the reason is, after two hours, I haven't actually gone 10 miles. I didn't go from zero to 10. I went from six to 10. So really, in those two, those two hours time, I really only traveled four miles. I did four miles in two hours. So my four miles in two hours is equal to two miles per hour. So I can't just look at a, the coordinates of a single point when it's a non-proportional relationship. I have to look at how the values are changing from one point to the next. I can do it again. I can see that from this point to this point, I increase by four miles from 10 to 14. So that's four miles in two hours. Four divided by two is two. Another four miles in another two hours, four divided by two is still two. If you picked points that weren't adjacent to one another, for example, if I went from this point to this point, I'm going from six miles to 14 miles, which is an increase of eight miles. And I'm doing those eight miles in a time of zero to four hours and eight miles divided by four hours is equal to two miles per hour. So I'm getting the same result. So on graph B, this one is a non-proportional relationship. It does have a constant rate of change, uh, but because the starting value is not zero, the ratio of y divided by x changes as you move along the line. It's not always the same. 
So to calculate rate of change, I can't just divide y and x values. Instead, I have to divide the change in the y and x values. y changes by 4, x changes by 2, 4 divided by 2 gives me my rate of change. So I hope that helps showing you the difference between uh, calculating rates of change on graphs that have proportional relationships and graphs that have non-proportional relationships.